Every year, thousands of persons are killed and millions of dollars in damage is done through pure carelessness in the home. Here are some of the commonest causes of fires and accidents. Yes, many of us do this on chilly mornings, but jumping out of an airplane is safer. Another thing, always shut the gas off at the pipe valve, too. Gas hose and hose connections often leak. Permanent connections are better. You heard of the ostrich burying its head in the sand so it can't see danger. Fuse plugs are the safety valves of your electrical system. To place pennies behind them is to remove that safety factor. Fire is the certain result. Keep lamp cords in plain sight. Then you can see when they're worn out. Yes, it still occurs in some of our best families. And it's nearly always fatal. This is often as sure and as effective as the electric chair. Burn rubbish in an approved incinerator. Combustible dust mixed with air is highly explosive. Wrapped in paper, it can be burned safely. Have you one of these in your home? Open paint buckets, oil-soaked rags, just the dish for spontaneous combustion. people know of the fire hazards of gasoline and other flammable fluids, but have not grasped the complete picture of the dangers involved. The woman using gasoline in her kitchen or elsewhere in the home with a false idea of economy does not fully realize the true high explosive character of a mixture of air and gasoline vapor. On the other hand, in dry cleaning establishments such as this, which have been licensed by the state, all work is under the supervision of men who are familiar with the properties of gasoline and experienced in fire prevention precautions. All garments to be cleaned are placed in one of these cylindrical metal washers. The gasoline or solvent is stored many feet underground in fireproof tanks. When needed, just the right amount, clean and filtered, is pumped into the washer. The housewife, however, keeps her whole supply unprotected beside her. She is subject to distractions by other domestic duties during the time she is dry cleaning, and others, even her children, are exposed to this unnecessary peril. Fire inspectors constantly check state-controlled dry cleaning plants to see that fire safeguards are in good working order. All machinery and metal parts are grounded to water pipes against vagrant currents and static electricity. Even interior metal parts are grounded with heavy copper wire. This fusible link melts at 160 degrees and closes the washer door. When this one melts, the weight drops automatically opening a dump valve in the bottom of the washer. The solvent is instantly drained safely into the underground tanks, removing the danger. But what chance has the housewife without these safeguards? These overhead steam outlets are operated from an outside valve, filling the room with live steam to smother the fire. If an explosion occurs, these roof hatches open automatically to relieve the force. All lights are controlled by outside switches to avoid the danger from an electric arc. Electric lights are under vapor-proof globes. Fire extinguishers are plainly marked with the date of last filling. Again, the fusible link coupling is brought into use. This time to hold fireproof doors open against gravity. A pull on this valve releases steam into the washer room. But where are the steam valves here?
Heavy vapors are drawn through the roof by an air duct. However, fire shuts this draft off. Here, fresh air is admitted to help carry off the vapors. Asbestos blankets placed outside each building provide protection for the workers. In this dry tumbler, suction fans withdraw the solvent vapors and expel them safely. Should the improbable happen, despite these precautions, the explosion would only force the hatches open against the valve lever, and presto, the tumbler is flooded with fire smothering steam. But still no protecting steam for the housewife. Fires are extremely rare in state-supervised cleaning plants. However, should one occur, here's how these safeguards work. All doors close automatically. deadliest foe of fire. by danger, the room slowly filling with flammable vapor, which even a tiny spark will explode. Fire on the stove. Flames under the water heater. Even if she does her cleaning outdoors, there is still the greatest danger of all, the invisible menace of static electricity. Don't run, that fans the blaze. That's it. Wrap her up. Wait, not over her head. She'll inhale the flame. Another run for the fire department. Each year answering thousands of such calls. Every day, ambulances pick up victims of gasoline fires. What grim message awaits behind the panels of this silent door? Even doctors, all too familiar with pain and suffering, are touched by the needlessness of such a scene as this. But what of the other victims of this useless tragedy? The anxious father, The bewildered children, motherless perhaps. No, fortunately not in this case, but their pretty mother withered and scarred for life. 